I hate this chapter. I hate goons. I hate goons too, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Just stop posting, guys. staring at Bayonetta's tits all the time. You really need to learn how to talk to a lady. Hey, I am no... Wait, how, how did... No time for this, mate. Where's the mountain? Where's Fimbleventer? I'm in a hurry. Uh, hey, kid! What the hell was that? Kids these days. Huh. for a cat always landing on his feet, Cheshire. Well, the original, the original series, the Yellow Worm, was an Asian girl. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this girl wasn't Asian. Yeah, because there were probably some pretty perceived racist overtones that people didn't get back in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Book! Anyway, Luca left something back here. It's pretty kind of easy to miss. Some immaculate bound work on all of these books. Mm. All identical. He puts a piece of his scarf in every one. He doesn't have much scarf left. Luca actually knits, and, knits as a hobby, that's why he's got so much. Oh, that's an interesting hobby. <laughs> Nothing really difficult about these guys. They do have a, uh, a grab attack, actually, which I will never show off, but... They'll basically try to give you eye surgery. Ew. Maybe I should show some of this stuff off because I haven't shut off torture attacks or anything on them. I mean, anyway, their torture attack, by the way, which I never use also, is basically putting them on a grill. There's lots of food related torture attacks, if you ask me. <laughs> Hidden fight over here. Uh, you want to use kick stuff because if you push them off this platform, you won't hit the platinum time requ platinum requirement for combo. Really? I don't know what to say about time requirements at this point, aside from they make me sad. Yeah, I'm, and I'm almost certain, based on something Kamiya tweeted, that, you know, it probably was a decision that either Hashimoto made or someone made, so it's like, why did you do this? This makes me sad. I can't tell you the number of times I had to actually do this chapter to get pure platinum. Given that... I assume the whole don't knock them off thing is a recurring theme considering Venice is now double underwater. <laughs> I imagine that is probably the reason why. <laughs> nah, there's something in this chapter which makes it really hard to do. Oh. Anyway, this unceremoniously introduces shield centaurs. Shield centaurs are basically specifically created to make sure your combo end. And unless they're stunned or whatever, they'll yeah block pretty much all combos that you pull at them. That was a cool finisher. Yeah, the great thing about Rekshazo is that you can you can do that, like hold a charge, Umbra and spear, let it go. And I didn't know, I didn't mention this earlier, but you can do that with Kafka as well. Like Kafka has a charge modifier. Hmm. 
And in the same way as Rekshaza, it can also hold the combo when you charge it. And when you charge it, you also hit like five arrows as opposed to one. But you can like you can like proc charges into a dash and then out of the dash still hold the charge, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's what you're trying to say. Yes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so like you charge Rakshasa and then you Panther and then out of Panther you still have your charge. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that with uh, Kafka as well. But the hell, why the hell would you want to? Kafka's kind of trash. So you can just dash and then face someone, shoot them with a charged arrow once, and then switch to a different weapon. <laughs> yeah. That, that sounds really great, huh? Uh, One thing I haven't mentioned is that you can also uh, Umbran Spear offset more than once, so you can use the Umbran Spear more than once to offset a uh, combo. I never actually use it because it becomes more something that you would use in terms of being stylish. But can, can you chain Umbran spears, spears together and become a death drill? Yes. Oh god. <laughs> as long as you have enough magic. Oh, okay. I didn't see what the requirement was for this one. Was it just kill everything? Oh, it says at the top right, I'm dumb. This mind. is just kill everything. Yep, yep. So yeah, I mentioned the new shield centaurs. They introduced them here. And unless you don't really know how to deal with them, they will break your combo and make you miserable. I don't know, my strategy normally is uh, use Umbrian Climax because that is probably how they want you to do it. Hmm. Like, I've had someone say, some people say that you can use like uh, the punch kick kick attack to hit them from underneath but it never really works. Huh. I mean logically speaking it would make sense but it doesn't seem to work. So what, when they have the shield out in front of them, they're just completely invulnerable? They're, they're just, just completely parent? invulnerable. Eh. It, it's really shitty. It's like some old Streets of Rage nonsense. Mm. It's like, what the hell is an enemy like this doing in this game? There's that bug again. Oh yeah. This game's trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's a QTE there. Uh, yeah, pretty easy to get that one. I'm sorry, I'm still working on my goon impression. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure I can impersonate a goon because I'm terrible at impressions. <laughs> I mean, if that what I just told you was anything, I mean, I probably can't either, but I did it because it was funny to me. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> it's Muswellheim? <laughs> I'm so glad Rainbow Fish and made that reply to that one first. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I think I have mentioned it before, but yeah, you can see here when I use Umbran Climax, it will also re-generate uh, some health. Okay. So yeah, I... Since I'm not ever actually going to get hit ever, you know, so... Not going to matter most <laughs> of the time. I was wondering when they would ever like put a self harm mechanic into it. Being able to, to drain health to get magic or something like that. Mm, that would be really crazy. So if you were super good at this game, you could just stay in Umbral Climax forever. Yeah. Also, I don't know why they've done this, but that animation to pick up the weapon, you can cancel out of it and you'll still pick up the weapon. Crazy! I don't think it was necessarily <laughs> deliberate, but... This crow's also a bitch to get. But not nearly as bad as one, which is a lot later in the game. Like, most crows will come back. This cro like, this specific crow I'm talking about does not come back, so you need to actually quit out and reload. Uh, so it is more like the old crows. I don't- did the crows come back in the first game? Yeah, they did. Oh, okay. I guess I was just hilariously impatient with them. Probably. <laughs> just watch the birds slowly fly away. And then look somewhere else in the room, trying to take my mind off it. No time! I have to get to Fimbleventer! I... Why do I have to go there? What is on the mountain? 
My head feels like it's gonna burst. Ugh. I have to get to that mountain. Shit! What was that? Nice mask, mate. Headed to that witch's party. Not the best costume I've ever seen, but she doesn't seem like the picky type. Just don't get in my way. Where is she? <laughs> so you are going to her party. Quite the popular one, isn't she? Sorry, mate, but I haven't the fucking slightest. Haven't seen her in ages. Besides, even if I knew, she and I have a special relationship. Then this will be all the easier. Anyway, we gotta go save the kid. Oh no, save the kid. I'm just gonna take my time. The kid's little ability to throw cards like Gambit reflects about as well as Gambit's ability in X-Men actually was. <laughs> and for some reason this fight can only be triggered if you break those barrels in that little room. Wait, oh, you mean in the weird little alcove bit? Oh, yeah. Weird. I don't know, being able to do the combo with Kafka seems pretty- like, being able to do combo things with Kafka seems pretty cool. Yeah, I still haven't- I obviously haven't put enough hours into this game, even though I've, you know... ...bought it twice, I've played through it way too many times. Still haven't played it enough to sort of get a feel for this game. Hmm. I don't know, I always find, like, in these 3D style fighter games, like, the extra ranged weapons they chuck in are always really weird. Well, after this chapter, we'll be getting better weapons. Hmm. Yeah, it does feel a little weird that we're only in um, chapter four. I remember the first game kind of threw a lot of weapons at you pretty quickly. Well, yeah, we've been getting weapons pretty yeah. consistently as well, but they're just not really memorable to me. Well, I mean, they're just rephrasing a lot of the same stuff, except Kafka, obviously. Well, I will say one thing, is that... You know, every weapon has different combo animations, and that's much better than how it was in the first game, which was literally, here's guns, here's shotguns, here's Kilgore, here's, you know, oh, everything. God. Yeah. Lovers on a bench, piss off, I hate you. I thought you were just, like, repeatedly perked them until an achievement appeared, but... <laughs> so this verse here is probably one of the ones which will get you in terms of either time or combo. And I really, so yeah, really don't like these shield guys. Hmm. You're just supposed to go to bash your head against the wall until they die. And make sure they're both as close together as possible. Yeah, the bunching is important. We're back on the warpath for 100% destruction. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go save this little kid, but first I also have to destroy everything that is breakable. Bandit is a bit of a gold digger, I'm sorry. <laughs> How else does she, like, afford those dresses and guns, heels without Another guns? LP. No rest for the wicked. Even if I am jollier than the average demon. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Be right back. This one's gonna be fun. Been looking for a workout like this for a while. Ta ta. <laughs> done and done. I like it when they come quiet like. Means they still have some fight left in them for the road ahead. He's all yours now, Bayonetta. The hell are they supposed to be? Railguns or flamethrowers? I, I don't really know what they are, but yeah, it's a flamethrower slash ice 
I guess, thrower. So almost like the Durga equivalent, except Durga was way better. It wasn't Durga like insane in Bayonetta 1? I remember it being yeah, pretty Yeah, it was kind of overpowered, honestly. But yeah, Durga was good. Undine is terrible. Anyway, I'm doing the unthinkable here and I'm buying Pulley's Butterfly. In case you don't remember, that's a thing that allows you get like to absorb hits, basically. Hmm. Because this next fight is a real bitch to pure platinum. of adult picks on little children. I I'm not a child. A mask. Let me guess. This is one of your assistants, little one? Nothing comes to mind, love. Sorry. Maybe you've got something you'd like to tell me, love. I'm not a fan of getting wrapped up in domestic disputes. Trust me, little one. He's not my type. Anyway, uh, let me complain about this guy. <laughs> okay. He is not very well designed. Uh, he will dodge out of your attacks, like right there, uh, for no reason. A lot of his attacks aren't queued properly. Like, so that glaive attack there sort of comes out of nowhere, so there's no sort of indication that you have to dodge it. Hmm. That fucking stinger attack there is the bane of my life. Was there a tell for that? No, there wasn't. There's no audio tell for it either, and it can come from off screen. Ugh. Yes, it is bullshit. He's badly designed. There's no getting around it. This per this this enemy is badly designed. I remember this specifically being a means in like I think it was Devil May Cry three or four. I don't think it worked for bosses though. But if you were if enemies were off camera, they wouldn't try to do a lot of bullshit on you. Yeah, that's how it worked in the first game as well, and Camille, you know, has a good idea on how to, like, design enemies that way, but they sort of seem to have dropped the ball a lot for this game. I think they deliberately did it for bosses, like, like, remove that, but... Well, you know, you think of, say, Jean from the first game. Jean, every single attack that Jean did was cued in some way. Hmm. Like, you know, she would, you know, snap her fingers, she would, you know, make a sound. There, there was no visual thing specifically, except for maybe the, when she, like would do a heel stomp, but everything was queued properly. It, there is, like, this guy is just badly designed. Also, this fight specifically, obviously, is trying to ramp up the intensity because that's what Hashimoto wanted to do, but subsequently, it's actually really hard to keep track of Lumen Sage here because he's white, and his white cloth sort of absorbs, like, the orange lava here, so it's really hard to see. Mm, yeah, he does And it only gets him. worse from here. It only gets worse from here. It's kind of distracting with the really cool giant angel demon fight in the background as well. Yeah, it's really cool fight, giant fight in the background, but no, you're having to fight this asshole in the front, and uh, and by the way, we're going to a flying stage now. Whoa. So have half of your abilities removed. But on the plus side, you can dodge infinitely when you're in the air. And, so that basically oh. means you can mash dodge and be okay. For a second, I thought the Lumen Sage like went inside. But sometimes inside things the like that will thing. happen. Oh no! But that some that does sometimes happens. Like you know, Madama Butterfly and uh, it is Temperantia. Yeah, 
will sometimes clip through the fighting area, so yeah. This entire fight is bad. It's spectacle for the sake of it, and it's horrible. In other words, it looks really cool, but I can't see what I'm doing. Again. Yeah. I don't know, I, I really would have liked it if the Lumen Sage went inside the Angel Mech thing, and then we were Madama Butterfly, and it was just a giant mech fight. Yeah, th it would have been cool for a giant mech fight for this, like, last third of the bit. But, oh my god, I it looks hate so this so good, much. Though. <laughs> so, I think there is nothing wrong with using Pooley's Butterfly here. I know you can definitely do it without using Pooley's Butterfly, but for the sake of my sanity, I am not doing that. He has a lot of health, too. I know it's yeah. third climax, but still. I don't think there really is a difference in terms of enemy health between second and third climax. Oh, okay. So I sort of don't even know what the difference is to be quite honest. Maybe they just do less less damage. And yeah, because of this weird, like, constantly dodging things, like, you can dodge offset wicked weaves, but so they'll dodge them. So it's like, what the hell is the point of doing dodge offset if they will dodge my wicked weaves? Bad design decisions abound. So you were saying you wanted a mech fight. Good, good, good. Uh, how about this sort of faux punch out bit instead? Oh god, now I'm getting, um... Wonderful 101! Yeah, I was gonna say Sparks though, but it's the same kind of thing. So apparently Hashimoto's team thought of this up first, but Wonderful 101 did it a lot better. Luckily it's short, so who the hell cares. I mean, okay, that was a really cool looking fight, but good god, it is a bitch to pure platinum. Mm. And not only that, I pure platinum this chapter three times. But I didn't take the first two because of fucking recording issues. Thank you, my computer. Yeah. Capture device. Oh, that was partly like my hard drive, actually. I had no show what oh, okay. was going on. So I had to reinstall my computer, and then after that, I reinstalled my computer again because of issues with Premiere. You should have done what I did and just thrown your capture device off the balcony. <laughs> I don't have a balcony to hold things off of. I also then put it in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of everything! Maybe I'll just microwave my Elgato next time. Uh, don't be anywhere near the microwave if you're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my microwave is from like the 70s, I'm pretty sure it will outlast it. But the rest of the kitchen? Uh, yeah. We need a rebuild anyway. <laughs> anyway, here's what it looks like when you miss this QTE. No issues here, though. You gotta be a real doofus to miss it, though. Just get decked.